No, this is not the 2018 film with The Rock. This is the bad rip-off of Die Hard that went straight to video in 1996. Oh. This is Anna Nicole Smith in Skyscraper. I'm Jay Harang, and I've wasted hours of my life watching terrible films. You should subscribe. We begin with Anna Nicole Smith flying this helicopter. Her name in this is Carrie Wink, but don't worry about that, because I'm just going to call her Anna Nicole Smith. She works for this helicopter taxi service in LA called Helliscort. As I'm sure you can imagine, her acting is dire, but she's possibly not the worst actor in this film. We'll meet the other contender later. Anna Nicole Smith radios into her boss, Chansey, to get her next job. Where are you, handsome? Hey, yeah, yeah, keep your shade on, keep your shade on. Needless to say, for the next 90 minutes, she will not be keeping her shirt on. <laughs> Chansey's like, you go home, I'll pay you when your next job is. Meanwhile, on the ground, there's this deal going on. This guy from Zytex is selling this thing to these government people. I don't know what this is, but apparently it's important. Something that could affect the balance of power on the planet. Yeah. Why is this deal happening on the streets in broad daylight? I have no idea, but that's what's happening. And this gives these people an opportunity to ruin it. They park this truck at the end of the road and then roll out this platform, which turns out to be a total waste of time, because they all just jump out of the truck anyway. They all start firing at the buyers and the sellers. Even though they're doing this to get hold of this really important case, they fire rocket launchers at the car it's in. This gunfight spills out into the main road, and this guy from Zytex gets away with the case. He makes it to this building and runs up all the stairs to the roof, but this guy has followed him. This is Fairfax, and he is awful. Oh, my noble adversary, tis that that dame circumstance pushes us to the very brink. What? That's right, to show us how cultured and well-educated he is, he constantly quotes Shakespeare. You know I can't let you have this. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's lucky that he dropped the case just before he fell, then. Yes. Ciao, bello. All right. <laughs> Stupidly, I assumed that this would be the low point of this film, but it isn't. Cut to someone sneaking around Anna Nicole Smith's apartment while she's in the shower. Oh, it's all right, it's her husband, Detective Gordon Wink. He joins her in the shower. Up against the wall. Uh, Spread. Anything you say, Detective? And then they bang. After a few minutes of that, his beeper goes off. I'm sorry, honey, this must be real important. I told him not to bother me. <laughs> it's his work, and he's been called to the incident we saw downtown earlier. I gotta go. Go where? To work. This triggers a massive argument. She's naked for most of it, so I can't show many clips. It's totally inappropriate. But in summary, she wants a baby and he doesn't, because in his job, he sees some really bad things. Well, excuse me for still believing in Sunday walks in the park and little babies. Right. Gordon doesn't believe in either of those things, so he gets up to leave. But oh no, he forgot that his car's in the shop, so he asks Anna to give him a lift to work in her helicopter. With pleasure. She flies badly on purpose to scare him while she shouts at him about babies. When she drops him off, it's still going on. Why don't you understand? I want a baby. Forget about it, all right? I gotta go. This is shit. Back on the ground, Fairfax's men are breaking into this building. They seem to be able to deal with the security guards without much trouble. Gordon and his partner go to the building and see that there's something going on. They manage to arrest one guy, but sadly it ends with Gordon's partner being burned alive. I can only imagine they've spent a fair bit on that rocket launcher and they're keen to get their money's worth. Yes, of course. Anna's next job is picking up Fairfax from the hotel and he starts doing the Shakespeare stuff again. When a world of men could not prevail with all their oratory, yet have a woman's kindness overruled. Yes, I know, it's already getting boring. Sadly, they persevere with it. Anyway, Fairfax is here to meet Mr. Simpson, who's dressed like a 10-year-old boy from the 80s. A pleasure, Mr. Simpson, a pleasure. Mr. Simpson's like, do you want to shag either of these tarts? But Fairfax is like, no thanks. Business is of the essence. Hmm. At the police station, Gordon is questioning the guy he arrested at the building. Gordon's like, you killed my partner, and he's like, I'm saying nothing. Whatever. This other cop tells Gordon what they took from that building. They took one piece of this missile guidance system, but they need all four pieces for it to be of any use. So Fairfax got one from the deal earlier, one from that building, and is currently buying another one from Mr. Simpson for a few hundred grand. What a small price for infinite power. 
Oh, sorry, he's not paying at all. Now for the last piece, he needs to go to Zytex Corporation. So Anna Nicole Tits is going to drop in there. Strangely, there's hardly anyone in this building. The security is laughable. And the biggest joke is this guy, Dudley Wright, who gets bullied by everyone, even the janitor. Dudley do right. <laughs> <laughs> Dudley is hoping to one day be a real police officer. <laughs> he goes on his break and this is when the baddies arrive and start killing people. They take out the security guards at the front desk and the guy who's supposed to be monitoring everything in the control room is more interested in listening to the basketball than eating so he doesn't notice. Then all the power goes off and this guy kills him. Anna Nicole Tits has come down from the roof to ask if she can use the phone because there's something wrong with the helicopter. This guy, Mr. Drake, is like, yeah, okay, but make it quick and close the door. It turns out, unrelated to all the other baddies, that he's stealing hundreds of thousands of dollars. While she's on the phone, all the phone lines are switched off and the building is put on full lockdown. No one gets in or out without our permission. Now is a good time to introduce Fairfax's team. This is Nakeem and he's posing as front desk security. This is Natasha, but I'm just going to call her the woman. This guy is called Jack. It's supposed to be said in a French accent, but I'm just not doing that. The guy rounding up the hostages, I'm going to call him Leathers. And whoever this is will be known as the Lion. Leathers and the Lion bring this guy, Mr. Cranston, who has the final piece of the missile guidance system to Fairfax. I'm nearly a man and I do bleed. Oh, Jesus, you're still doing that Shakespeare crap. Can we get on with it? I must admit, before he said this, I didn't know he was saying Shakespeare quotes. I just thought he was an absolute twat. <laughs> anyway, they both seem pretty chuffed that all four of the pieces are together. Uh, yes. <laughs> but remember, Fairfax doesn't pay for any of these pieces, so he just shoots Cranston. Cranston manages to escape by letting his bodyguard take all the fire, and when he gets downstairs, he bumps into Anna Nicole Tits. What is going on? They're gonna kill us what's in this briefcase. They get to the roof, but Jack sees them on the monitor, so they're followed. Fairfax kills Cranston. The end of life cancels all bands. Fuck you. Later, baby. Ciao. Anna Nicole Tits has ended up with a briefcase and has to jump into this window cleaner thing. But Leathers is coming with a machine gun, so she does this. Very familiar about all this. Yep, that's pretty much exactly what happened in Die Hard. Find that bitch. So Dudley is back from his break and he sees some dead security guards on his monitor. I got two dead bodies on monitor <laughs> <laughs> And a Nicole Tits walks past Dudley's desk and hides the briefcase in this bin. In the control room, Jack's like, there are too many people in this building. Round them all up or we're never going to find that blonde tart. So then we get a few minutes of leathers and whoever the fuck this is, Neo's dad, rounding up a load of hostages and beating them up. Anna has bumped into Mr. Drake, but now's not a good time as he's trying to escape the building with all his new money. Mr. Drake, some people are trying to kill me. He's like, uh, okay, you wait here, I'll get security. But Anna thinks something's up, so she gets in the elevator. Come on, get in here <coughs> quick. Take it easy, babe. Got all afternoon. Shut up. Look, uh, why don't uh, you and I, we get a little more, uh, oh, I don't like those zippers. <coughs> Jack has seen activity in the elevator, so shuts it down. What the hell's going on? Look at me. <sighs> We're gonna make it out, okay? Snap! Of it. Oh no, the lion is coming. As the elevator door opens, he shoots that perv, but there's no sign of Anna. It looks like she may have gone through the ceiling. Oh, I see. A bit like in Die Hard. Yes. Cut to Gordon, who's been called to Mr. Simpson's body. He finds Anna's phone and calls Chansey from it, who has no idea where she is. Back at Zytex, Anna is having a flashback. In it, Gordon shows her how to shoot, she's instantly better than him, and then they bang. That added nothing whatsoever to the story. Fairfax is getting frustrated that he can't find Anna. Maybe one of the hostages can help him. I know where she is. I tell you, you let me go. Deal? Deal. I have no idea what's going on here, but on this level, no one seems to know what's going on. There's a kid riding a plastic tricycle who's at least five years too old for it. True. Leroy, the janitor, who's probably still laughing at Dudley. <laughs> 
and this woman who unfortunately for her looks a bit like Anna Nicole Tits from the back. Anna is on this other level where she bumps into Dudley. You're one of them, aren't you? Huh? Do I look like a killer to you? Give me that. Hey, you can't do that. The lion is on his way to them, so they need to hide. Dudley hides, but Anna's feeling brave. So there's this ridiculous gunfight where Anna and the lion miss each other loads of times from close range. Then there's this fight. <laughs> 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 Time to die, you blind bitch. The lion is just about to shoot her when... <laughs> so Dudley is the hero. Yeah. Gordon has seen Anna's helicopter on the roof, so he goes into the building too. Meanwhile, Dudley sees that the baddies have hostages. We gotta do something. We can't just leave them there. I'm gonna go look for a way out. I can't just stay here. This is shit. In the control room, Fairfax and Jack have seen that the police have arrived. It's actually just Gordon, but you'd assume that more would come sooner rather than later, wouldn't you? Of course. Anna has somehow bumped into Too Old for Tricycle. I'm scared. I want my mommy. Your mom is gonna be fine. That's not what he asked, but anyway. Neo's dad and Leathers have heard something going on, so Anna hides Too Old for Tricycle under this desk. Meanwhile, Nakeem has seen Gordon and has somehow missed him with all these bullets. <laughs> Fairfax then speaks over the building's intercom and tells Anna that he'll kill a hostage every five minutes until he gets the briefcase. Leathers has found Dudley and knocks him out. <laughs> Nakeem is still spraying bullets around and failing to hit Gordon. Anna calls the control room and tells Jack she'll tell him where the briefcase is and be their hostage if they release the other hostages. They agree and she hands herself in, but not before starting a fire which alerts the fire department. Smart. When she gets to Fairfax, Mr. Drake's like, right, now you've got her, I can go. But Fairfax is like, no, sorry, you didn't help me find her. No! He welches on his deal with Anna too and tells her that she's in no position to make demands. He kills a hostage and this convinces her to take him to the briefcase. The briefcase isn't where she thought it was. So Fairfax tells Leathers he can play with her for a while while he deals with other stuff. Meanwhile, Nakeem and Neo's dad are setting up some C4. The fire department are climbing up this building. The baddies can't have this so the woman gets the rocket launcher out again and deals with them. The police have finally arrived and just in time to see Fairfax make an explosion. I can't work out why he's done this, because all it's done is made the police call more police. But Fairfax won't leave until he's got the briefcase, which is in this bin that Leroy is pushing around. Hello, my friend. While this is going on, Leathers is doing this. God was very good to you, wasn't he? Yep. I usually prefer to buy ladies a drink first. But excuse me if I just don't have the time. Ew. This gets much worse and I'm unable to show the next part, but she ends up grabbing his gun and shooting him. <laughs> Fairfax is now talking to the police through the intercom thing. He pretends Leathers was a hostage and tells them that any more messing about down there and more hostages will be thrown out. Don't fuck with me! Ooh. You're hard. Oh god, I forgot about Gordon. He's still creeping around and Nakeem is hunting him down again. <laughs> Good. Every time one of them dies, it means we're closer to the end of the film. Now there are cops climbing around through the air vents, a bit like Die Hard. They forget to turn their radios off, so Jack hears them in there and kills one. Fairfax has finally found the case in Leroy's bin. Leroy won't be needed anymore, so Neo's dad kills him. Gordon has managed to get down to the basement, where he's involved in a shootout with Neo's dad. Neo's dad is about to kill him when Anna Nicole Tits comes through the door with a wrench. <laughs> he still manages to grab Gordon's gun before kicking him a load of times. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Anna Nicole Tits has saved him. Listen, I gotta go check on the hostages. Hostages? Yeah. Hostages. This is shit. Fairfax needs a new plan, so he kills Jack. Why? No idea, but that's what's happened. Meanwhile, Anna is downstairs releasing the hostages. Good. Does anyone know how to disable the computer system? I do. I can help too. Come with me. Dudley spots too old for tricycle on the monitors, so Anna is going to go save him. But Fairfax is on that floor too. Are you having fun? Dudley and this other woman have managed to open the door, so all the hostages are escaping. But Fairfax is taking too old for tricycle to the roof. I don't want to go. Shut up. 
Anna has found them. She's not bothered bringing a gun. What? But Fairfax has one, so he tells her to get in the helicopter. Get in the chopper, now! But Gordon is up there too. He's like, let her go. But Fairfax is like, no. They agree that Gordon can have the kid and Anna will take Fairfax in the helicopter. There was never a story of more woe than this of Juliet and Romeo. No! Then there's this fight. <laughs> Then Anna and Gordon come down with the kid, give him to his mum, and that's the end of the film. Good. So until next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and check out this other video. Thank you.